Hello everybody, how are you doing? This is Ogo Wadi. Welcome to my channel, guys. Um, happy Tuesday, happy end of the month. I mean, I'm filming this on June 30th. I know it's not gonna go up today, probably in July, <laughs> someday, this week anyway. So, but anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I really am honored to have you guys with me in my kitchen today. So, I've been having this um, couple of requests for this particular recipe until there's this particular family that I adore so much made this request. And I'm like, okay, let me just go ahead and make this. So, today on the menu, we are going to make coconut, actually, vegetable coconut rice or coconut vegetable rice i don't know how i'm gonna put it but anyway it's coconut rice mixed with some vegetables all right so i'm gonna go ahead and introduce you to the um, ingredients we're gonna be needing for this so but before we do that if you see my face for the first time like i said my name is ogonwadi how are you doing thank you for tuning in please feel free to subscribe to my channel you know i have a lot of goodies here i do cooking i do uh, talk you know i do vlogs lifestyle everything like that it's a family channel so please go ahead and subscribe and tap on the notification bell so you get notified anytime that i upload any recipe okay and also any video and to you my returning subscribers i say god bless you thank you so much for keep coming coming back I am highly honored. So today, like I said, coconut vegetable rice. Let's go ahead and do this. Let me show you the ingredients. All right, guys. These are the ingredients we're gonna be needing for this recipe. Okay, so the first thing, here I'm using basmati rice. I like it for coconut rice. I really like how it tastes, how it feels. If you don't like it, please feel free to use any type of rice that you are comfortable with. Over here, I have half a teaspoon of thyme, one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of curry powder. I might not use the whole thing because I do not want the curry powder to overshadow or overtake the taste of the coconut milk, all right? And to that, I'm also going to be using bay leaf. I will be throwing it in the rice when I'm boiling it. And of course, the main ingredients of the day, coconut milk, unsweetened. You can make yours also, it's very, very simple. I do not have any, so I decided to use the one I bought from the store. Right here, this is my uh, stock cube, spring onions, scotch bonnet pepper, adjust your seasoning the way you feel comfortable. I eat a lot of pepper, so I could handle this in my family. And of course, I'll be using shrimp to also garnish it. You could use chorizo, you could use a pork if you're into pork, or whatever you so desire to use. And for the obstacle, it's going to be turkey. I already uh, boiled and fried it in a coconut oil. I'm going to be needing half stick of a butter. This paste here is ginger and garlic paste. The link is going to be popping up anytime from now to show you how I made this paste. And of course the coconut oil there is no coconut rice without coconut oil i do not even argue this i don't believe in using any other type of oil i would write, rather use coconut oil to give me that taste that i'm really uh, hoping to get and here is the onions we're going to use the purple onions this is the best for this recipe over here i have red yellow orange and green pepper that i cut into strips i just felt like doing it you could do it in, cut it into cube and i have coconut flakes unsweetened this is just you know to make it coconutish if that's a word and right here i have soy sauce i'm going to be using this to fry to stir fry the vegetables i have a cup of orange juice i'm going to show you what we're going to do with that and i have of course the stock from the turkey that I got. And I'm gonna be kneading this foil to cover the pots when I start cooking the rice. So these are all you need, there is nothing much but this. So let's now go into making this coconut vegetable rice. All right guys, so the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be toasting the rice. This is optional, if you don't like it, that's fine. But when you toast um, the basmati rice, it helps it not stick together, you know, and it helps it taste better and then the color will not be white, it will be a little brown. So I'm adding butter first 
and to the border make sure your light is on low I'm gonna be adding a little bit of the coconut oil but I did that I'm gonna go ahead and pour in the rice so what you're gonna do you're gonna be turning it around this is like frying it let me move this to the side you keep turning it you cannot leave it because you don't want it to burn we just toast in the rice like I said this is to kind of give it another kind of beautiful flavor it's taking it to another level believe me give this a try you can also skip it if you don't want to go through all these steps Stick, skip it and go to the next step so I'm gonna fry this like this for like five minutes and then we proceed okay guys it's quite six minutes the whole kitchen is smelling coconutish Woo! I wish you could perceive it guys now we're good to go I'm just gonna lower the light to low medium now I'm gonna go ahead and introduce the stock to it this is four cups of Ooh, look at, listen to that season. This is four cups of basmati rice. Basmati rice doesn't need much water. So I added the beef stock. The next thing to go in will be the milk. This cup is two cups. I'm just going to be eyeballing it to see where I'm going to stop. Because I don't want to put too much water. i rather put a little and then add it gradually than put too much. If you put too much, it's going to make it saggy. This is fine this way. So I'm going to cook it for like up to 70% before I add other ingredients. So let's go into making the vegetable now. But before then, let me make sure I'm set with this. This is what I use the foil for. I put the dull part, I leave the shiny part up. Cover is this is gonna help the rice cook evenly without you adding so much water. Just fold it up, you don't want to burn the kitchen, and then it's a medium high. Then we go ahead and start preparing the vegetable. So, guys, it's time to make the vegetable. Remember the orange juice? This is what we're gonna do with it. Drink it. I've been thirsty all morning, actually. I've been wanting orange so <laughs> cheers. So guys, while it's cooking, you go ahead and put in the bay leaf. Bay leaf takes it to another level, gives it a very nice taste. Alright, over here now, the pot is ready. I'm going to go ahead and start frying this. We're going to bring the butter one more time. Like, uh, let me say one quarter well, I don't know I think this is half yeah let me make it half of the stick and more of the coconut oil don't worry we're doing we make it um coconut rice so everything gotta be coconut ish and now we add the onions put as much as you want it's up to you And we fry it for like two minutes. So now I'm, we're going to add the ginger paste, ginger garlic paste. When you add it, the smell is something else. You know, I like it to fry together with the onions. The ginger garlic paste is this color because I added a little bit of turmeric and oil inside it for preservation. And it's also good. You see why I'm not going to use much of the curry because there's already yellow color going on here. So now it's time to introduce our pepper. You don't have to use everything, you know. Let's use the much you need. These are all one one each. But because the rice is four cups, I might not really use everything. So give it a stir. While you're at that, Go ahead and throw in the scotch bonnet pepper. Guys, remember, put as much pepper as you can handle, please. Scotch 
so you know, the thyme, the black pepper, everything is pouring out. We're going to go easy on the salt because the stock already has some salt in it. And for the curry, I'm just going to put a little for now. And then I'm going to decide. And I'm adding the stock cube. And just some of the green onion. And give it a, a good mix. Try this for like just a minute or two. All right, the rice is ready now. I'm just going to turn off the line. You can see that. Let me get another spatula to move it around and make it fluffy. You see that? It's not burnt. It, it cooked fast because I already fried it. That frying also speeds up the process of the cooking. You see that? It's fluffy. Now you can take off your bay leaf, you know, to take it off right now. But let me give it a stir. Okay, now I'm going to be adding the soy sauce, just like a, a teaspoon will be fine. If you don't want, you can skip it, or if you have oyster sauce, you can also use that. And give it another quick stir, and then it's done. Alright, so now we go back to the rice. Remember, it's like 70% done. And all we have to do is go ahead and pour the mixed vegetable in. not leaving anyone out we'll give it a quick stir let me change this spatula because this might be better than sure and right now I'm gonna go ahead and add the shrimp I didn't fry the shrimp I wanted it to cook with the rice and this vegetable you could add corn and every other thing that you want it's your choice this is how I want it to be look at that beautiful color guys it tastes so nice. I mean, I tried to test and see if it was salty enough and already it's tasting so nice. So this is the remaining milk. I'm just going to add it so everything can cook properly. So basically, I used uh, two cups of milk for four cups of basmati rice. Regular cup, guys. Regular cup. So I'm just going to allow it to steam for five minutes and it's over so guys so into the five minutes we're waiting remember the the coconut the toasted coconut just gonna drizzle it on top this is optional it's just my <laughs> my own thing and put the other spring onions right on top and just let them all simmer together okay guys the moment of truth is here. Look at that. Our coconut vegetable rice. It's ready to go. Let me dish it out. Alright guys, you see that? So the moment of truth. Let me go ahead and test for you and I. Mmm. -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is for you and I. Let me take one more, it's so good. Mm, 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 mm. Alright guys, lunch is ready. So now I fulfilled my part. What is your part? Go and make your own coconut fried rice or coconut vegetable rice. Make your own. Send me the picture. Let me see. I would like to see it. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. I appreciate each and every one of you. It's been great. Welcome to my kitchen anytime. Stay safe, guys. If you haven't so subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Don't forget to like, share this video. Please leave me a comment. Do you have any questions? Bring them. I'll give you the answer by God's grace, all right? Thank you so much. It's bye from Ogomadi. Watch out for other videos here, here, somewhere. Bye!